finding irrational numbers between two rational numbers. So it may just happen that sometimes you are given two rational numbers and we all know that rational numbers are numbers which can be expressed in the form p upon q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero. So if we have to find three irrational numbers between 4 upon 7 and 8 upon 11, right? So in order to find out these irrational number, the first thing that we need to do is we need to convert these rational numbers into irrational numbers. And then you'll be surprised to see how easily one can find a large number of irrational numbers. So let's say when you divide 4 by 7, and I'm not doing the actual division, this you can do separately. What you will get is 0, point, then 40 is there, 5 times 35, 5 carry over, 7, then 10, 1, 3 carry, 4, okay, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, 4, so effectively what you will notice is that the 5, 7, 1, 4, 2, 8, these 6 digits are repeating themselves. Or in other words, 4 by 7 can be written as 0 0.571428 with these digits repeating themselves. Similarly, when you do the long division of 8 upon 12, what you are going to get is 0 0.727272 effectively where 72 is repeating itself so you can also write this as 0 0.72 with a bar over 72 now whenever you have to find any given number of irrational numbers between two numbers the easiest thing is to first look at these two digits so here if you look at these two digits you have 57 and if you look at the two digits in this case it is 72 now obviously any number which lies between these two, okay, so between 57 and 72 as such is going to be lying between these two numbers, right? So let's say 0 0.58, okay, from this side if you see it could be 0 0.71, 0 0.59, here it could be 0 0.70 and so on. All these numbers which are basically between 57, obviously with a decimal, starting decimal, and here between less than 72 are basically irrational numbers which lie between these two numbers. Just at the cost of repetition, to find irrational numbers, what we need to do is first we need to convert these rational numbers into irrational numbers by long division method. Once we've done that, we see what are the first two digits of each of these irrational numbers which we have obtained by the long division method. And then, as we see these two numbers, whatever lies in between is going to be an irrational number which lies between these two given rational numbers.